How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world discussing our thoughts and opinions on second page news. And I am joined by Maxi. Hello. Dev. Hello. Emma. Hello. And I am Alex. So, Emma, what are we starting with today? Okay, so we will do my article next. And it is about the Ukrainian president. Has anyone heard about what's going on with this? Yes. Yes. I love this story. Maxi? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, that's good. I actually don't. Please jump in, please, because I am not, I'm not that in. I don't know too much in depth about this, but let's, <laughs> let's, let's, I'll tell you what I do know. <laughs> okay. So this guy. His name is Volodymyr Zelensky, and he is an actor and a comedian in the Ukraine. And he basically was playing the Ukraine president on TV. So his his role was um, he was a teacher, an everyday sort of teacher, and somehow accidentally just became president right and he played that role on tv popular series was it like uh was it like a comedy type show or was it serious the one you described do you know i, I, think I, it I believe a... it was a comedy type was it that, like I going to teach was... and accidentally fall into a president that sounds like a comedy sketch more yeah i believe because that's his background as well like he yeah it's yeah. not like house of cards or anything is it i don't it's know because a... no, i've seen nothing. snippets of it and it the bits that i saw was looked serious but yeah maybe it was had like a comedic edge to it um, so, but, but he, he actually studied law before this, but then he just switched to sort of acting and stuff like that. Anyway. Um, so then. Can I wait? Can yeah. I just say how many times you actually hear that happen? Like, um, there's a host that used to be a lawyer. Now he hosts, um, the, the suitcases with numbers on them. What are you, like? Oh, um, deal or no deal. Deal or no deal. <laughs> And then the the Asian actor, he was a doctor, and then he became an act like he became an actor. Um, Have the guy you not from watched that comedian? Hangover, the guy from Hangover, the Asian guy from Hangover. Oh yeah, he used to be a doctor. Oh really? And now he he's Have just a full time yeah, actor now. Ken, uh, Ken, Ken, whatever his name. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Chang. Yeah, he used to be a doctor. Have you not watched Joe Coy, whatever his name is, no. say that your parents crush your dreams? <laughs> Yeah. And you end up being oh, a nurse who God. wanted to be you a dancer. So oh, silly. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay. That was good. <laughs> so this guy, um, <laughs> last year, so 2018, he, I don't know if he's leading this party or he's part of this party called Servant of the People. Servant of the People is an actual political party created by people from the television production company. Um, oh, called Kvartel 95. I do know how you pronounce it. Anyway, so, yeah. So then up come this political party and all of a sudden in the opinion polls, this dude is like acing everyone else. So New Year's Eve comes and he announces candidacy for presidency on the same night as this, as the actual president put his like New Year's Eve speech and he like way outperformed that. Um, and then sh- long story short, he is now president. And he won by a landslide, seventy percent. The writers, uh... the writers of the show, are worth a lot of money because they've scripted this to perfection. This is unreal. It gets a little bit trickier <laughs> because he is friends with a billionaire or a very rich guy, um, yeah, called Igor Kolomoisky, um, who is sort of the enemy, not the enemy. What's the the opponent the opposition. of the opposition? He's the opposition, right? And um, opposes everything the current president says. So then there's like massive backlash or criticisms that, well, he's just the puppet. Master. Like he's the puppet uh, yeah. and oh, the course. billionaire is the puppet master, um, which oh. he yeah, denies. They're saying, they're saying basically his... Um, Agenda. Because he's owner of the, of the TV production company as well, that guy. Is he? Um, oh. e- Igor. So they're saying it's essentially they're going to create this oligarchy around um this his his small niche of people who control the entertainment side and now control the governmental side as well oh that's 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 what the fear is oh it's just crazy i mean it just yeah it just goes to show that like our the the way we vote is based so much just on like how people come across right and not enough on policies and yeah, like one just, one yeah. girl, um, she was interviewed as to why she likes him. And she said something like, oh, 
he's he's already got heaps of money. Like he doesn't need any more money from all his businesses. He's rich. So that just makes me feel like I can trust him that like he won't take the money from the people. So, That's and then other people are just like, well, <laughs> this guy, the, the current he's president. Got, he's got a lot of money and he won't need any more money. What? Corruption. That, that's that is that is the way that rich people work. They never want more money. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like once you get to a certain amount of money per year, most people are just like, eh, that's enough. That's normally a limit, right? Like if you're Jay Z and B <laughs> level, like you don't really need to more. Do you have more? Do you? Yeah, they don't do anything like create their own streaming uh, <laughs> apps to compete with <laughs> other ones so they can make more money and you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try to make my voice more sarcastic. I'm struggling. <laughs> I I was I I wasn't I wasn't picking up what you were putting down. This this oh. brought um because <laughs> what I try to put a comparison to the American American um Election. system, and the person I think about is The Rock. <laughs> if The Rock went for presidency, I'm like, uh, he, man, hundred percent, he's win. gonna get he'll in. Get it. He'd win so easy. So and that's <laughs> dumb as <laughs> super dumb. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, he, he was, uh, where was California. he? California. Governor of California. California. Governor of California. <laughs> like, what the f***? So, do you think <laughs> this... Max, Max, um, <laughs> <laughs> Emma, what's, what's his name? The, the, pres- the now president? Um, Vl- Vladimir. 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 Zelensky. Do you think he would have, do you think Vladimir <laughs> would have won if Trump didn't win? No, I, th- I think that was probably the catalyst. Is that the right word? He's the best president in all of the lands. Of course, he would have won. Yeah, people are like, oh, look what's going on over there. We can do it too. Like, because that a lot of people, they just wanted to get rid of this, you know, this, this, the former president was, was in the, the presidency for a lot, like quite a while. And they're like, no, oh, we don't trust any of them anymore. Let's have a fresh face in. Uh, I'm just, I'm just really hoping that, and I think there will be a, a especially like in this era now, celebrities have more influence than ever before, yeah. right? Like this yeah. this is an era. Yeah. Like mm. If you go back even 30 years, there's like proper superstars, rock stars. They still don't have the influence they have today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think this is an era now where you're going to see a lot more of that. But then mm-hmm. I'm hoping on the back of it, when you realize it just keeps going to shit, mm-hmm. or people stop doing that. Like people start to then re-engage in the policies as opposed to the people. But at the same time, it might not. That might not be the case. It might just be now the new thing for politics is you always have a front man, which is just well-versed in acting. And, yeah, just the yeah. front man. You know, it's just yes. a show. Yeah. Very true. But you, but maybe politicians want to go that way. Which is basically, for me, uh-huh. like my opinion, that's how it's been anyway, but it's just been in a different, like they're not actors there. Uh, oh. You just find somebody who's got no dirt in their past. You find yeah. someone that's like a good speaker Looks and you say, okay, let's pretend he's the person calling the shots and then we will run it from behind. So where I could see this creating actually a, uh, a, a more significant change would be if this starts to be like a big trend, that the yeah. actual politicians who are in there who govern the policy and all this kind of stuff don't like it to the point that they change the way that elections happen. Um, oh, because like, what it, do you mean? If you, it, at the moment, it essentially is just a popularity contest. Yeah. No matter where you go, it, as long as it's a democracy, it's a popularity contest. Yeah. So yeah. I could see the people within trying to change i i don't know necessarily oh, how easy it okay. be, but trying to change how things operate from that perspective like they're gonna yeah. say you to have to, to run for presidency you have to have been in the um uh, parliament or whatever for however many years and you have to have done this yeah, have to have done like that. that yeah because mm. they're not going to want to relinquish power to celebrities that easily especially if celebrities aren't front men like if they actually try and act I, I don't i don't think celebrities will take any power that's the thing i don't think they'll have a enough say yeah um mm. well i don't know that being said look at boris johnson in england like he seems to be throwing his weight around enough but then as soon as you put him under any scrutiny and interview him about his policies and stuff he's just like bambling bam, <laughs> he's got someone behind the camera <laughs> going what, what words do we use <laughs> so, that makes me just, i can't stop looking at like his well his this guy is like, a lengthy... it's like a He's like an ape in a suit. He's like, blah, 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 blah. I think uh, if you think about it, if you think about it a bit more, uh, maybe we can talk about blah, blah, blah. Oh and then he actually comes out. He just does that for an hour. Oh, my God. <laughs> All no, right. This, this Final thoughts, everyone. Well, this president guy avoided, um, avoided like any sort of main media for a while because he probably doesn't know. And they're going to grill him, you know, on his policies. And he's, he's like, I don't know. I just acted it. But he's an actor, right? He's, he's got to learn his lines. Yeah, yeah, we should have to learn his lines. And and you did say he's got a background in law, so he's oh, not he does have a background in law.
All right. So next article I reckon is Alexander's. All right. So this one, none of you have seen beforehand. I'm just going to drop it in our little group chat quick so you can all have a look. It's a nice little Twitter video. Some of you may have seen it, but I only saw it as early as yesterday. So I don't know how new this is. It's a Do I need sound video. for this, Alex? Yeah, this has got sound. No, you, you don't need sound. You just need to watch. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. I've got my headphones in. What? What the heck? You're kidding. Oh, oh. Is that a monkey? That is a monkey. This so, is- so for any, while, while they're watching, for anyone listening, I'm going to explain what's happening. We're watching a video on Twitter right now. It's this chimpanzee holding what looks to be, yeah, holding an iPhone. That's and he's crazy. scrolling through an Instagram feed and like clicking on pictures, watching the videos, and then going back to the feed, scrolling more, clicking on another one, watching the picture, looking at the picture or watching the video, going back. Like he's genuinely going through Instagram like we would go through Instagram. <laughs> yeah. How old is this and- chimp? How old is this monkey? I don't know if you can see. The tweet says, is it a monkey? Mental. And then has like, a video. There's no more to, information. He knows I, how to like, I know as swipe much as you across do at this point. and then scroll down and then swipe back to get out of it and then scroll down and then select. And Who is he watching? Different stuff. He just watched. No, but I mean, who was he watching that so that he knows how to use Instagram? <laughs> I don't know. I have so well, many that's, questions. That's teachable, right? Someone taught him that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't like any of them, though. He watched the little well, the he other hasn't found anything he likes yet. Uh, <laughs> but it's because like, it's not like he he looks and then it's like that one looks interesting. He like misses a load and he clicks one and then it's a monkey playing yeah. around. He watches it for 10, 15 seconds and then goes back and finds another one. But you know what's interesting? When the guy was distracting him when he moved around the front of his face with the camera, the monkey was like looked at him like, but it was like I'm just too, I'm busy. Like he, the way he looked at the guy with the camera is like. <laughs> I'm busy type thing. Yes, like, exactly what? the same way my younger sister does it when I go home and she's on her phone. She's like, next week, I'm on Instagram. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that but that that bit actually I think what you mentioned there was super important because yeah. it did that mean it didn't look like it was they taught him to do it for the camera because they were yeah. like distracting him. And it's just as if he wasn't phased. He was like, I'm doing my thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how monkeys feel and everything, but it looked like he was like, yeah, I'm just doing my thing. So it wasn't as if they're like, let's make a funny video. It, it actually yeah. looked completely genuine. He was just like, he's really interested in going through her. So I've got a question for you all. Mm. Mm. When you look at this, do you think, okay, this chimp, like chimps are getting smarter. They're getting closer to our level of intelligence. Or do you think the fact that a chimp is doing this shows that we're getting dumber and we're getting closer to a chimp's level of intelligence. <laughs> oh, man, mind blown. <laughs> no, hang on a sec. Okay. Listen to the question, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Listen this, to is the I, this is my taking it, right? Do you know on Instagram, Facebook, and they're the same people, right? They spend a lot of time trying to trigger our, like, it, it, what's the word? Dopamine. Dopamine, but I mean, uh, like the instinctive responses to yeah. things. So they try and trigger, Intu- like, intuition. how do we give them lots of short bursts and stuff? That I think we have is very similar to a chimp, anyway. Yes. I think that's why. What the do they when do? You think about, like, in the sense of like our, if you believe in evolution and stuff, anyway, the there's stuff that are instinctual, like the way Instinct, we care about yeah. family, the way we stick together, the way we kind of communicate and stuff. On a sort of very, if you just sort of painted, like, wrote on a post-it night, the way post-it note the way we interact we're very similar to chimps obviously when you then expand and say we have political systems and laws that's different but yes. from the very base level we're very similar so the idea that instagram and facebook really try and get to the core of how we feel about things not how we logically make decisions but how we feel so it's hard to put your phone down yeah i can see i can kind of see why if the chimp could just engage in the first place that's the hard bit if it can engage in the first place and have that much intellect just to engage then it can get hooked in the same way because it's just oh, like but i think it's so oh. sad what? I, I, I think it's kind of part of me feels like sad for this chimp that why? he's like because why are we trying to change them and like make them like us? I don't get it. No, Maxie's saying that it's um, no. I agree th- with m- what Maxie's saying, and then that, that's what makes me us, feel sad. Not expanding a chimp, but, but that's what like that's the reason I asked the question because what I'm th- like initially I was like, wow, chimps are getting smart, but then I was like, hold on a second. Like, people genuinely spend hours in a day, like maybe two or three hours in a day on social media, 
And that's two or three hours of a day doing a chimp level activity that you wouldn't have done 10 years ago. Yeah. So are we spending more time doing lower level, like lower brain power? What activities? did we do 10 years ago? I don't think we did 10 years ago. We did non chimp level activities all the time. <laughs> like just, no, no. Just but, running around just... playing tag with your friends is. I used to climb. I literally climbed trees as a hobby when I was a kid. That is the most chimp level activity <laughs> there is. <laughs> but I think if if you, so, I mean, adults, not not necessarily kids. Adults, if you think from a, um, I guess a, what would have been the equivalent would have been watching TV. Yeah. But I I think like if when you're when I guess when you're on your phone, it's not this like it's when I say two or three hours, it's not a two or three hour block. Like no. you could replace that with watching TV. You do it while doing other things. Yeah. So yeah. whether so I think like for example at work, if you might pick it up for five minutes and look at it, are we reducing at that point? Are we? I'll, I don't know. I don't know if no, we are. No, I get what are you're we saying. Reducing? That's the question. Like, I just wonder if we're getting dumbed down more and more. Uh, by like, these things that are being put to us. Are you saying the activity or the amount of information that's keeping us on there? Like, uh, I don't understand. The activity, I Is think. it the activity of just... The activity. Activity. Okay. Well, it is what a lot of time wasting. What do you mean by getting Because we're just wasting so, like, time just you know, scrolling through pictures. Have you, all seen, have you all seen Wally? The film Wally. 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 Um, Wally. I know what you mean, but I don't think I've actually watched it entirely. So, well, a part of basically the earth is just covered in garbage, all this kind of stuff. So what they do is they send all the people are off the planet and they're up in this space station thing, but they're all like fat because they got the access to food and all that. And they sit in these chairs that move them around and then they have these screens in front of them and like, that's it. They don't really do anything. Really? Um, and like, I, I'm not saying we're going to be in a space station, or, but like, are we going towards a direction where our, we're being taught to switch off our brains more and more? No, I totally mm. get what you're saying because people spend hours like this just doing exactly what that chimp was doing. But what are they gaining from it? They're literally just watching other people, other people's like posts, yeah. other people's pictures and videos, and that's it. But they're spending and literally hours doing that. I wonder if you asked as well, if like, imagine, so you just, so in fact, everyone try this. This week, when you see someone scroll through their feed or whatever, if you just notice someone's doing it, wait until they put their phone down and then ask them what they saw. I wonder how much you actually internalize. Yeah. Wait, what? Just people on the train or? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, so, maybe someone you know. I noticed you that at. you were. <laughs> but Maxi, like it's weird if you do it like that, but if you have your phone and you put it on record, you go, uh, what were you looking at? And they go, what are you doing? Oh, this is for the B-Side Word uh, podcast. Uh, and just continue, and just hold your like phone up to them. immediately like, oh yeah, response. okay, that's fine. Hang on, does so my it's hair not look as good? weird. It's, it's not as weird. Not podcast. <laughs> I've heard about that podcast. <laughs> oh my so God. what was you? What was your guys' thought when you like when you looked at it? I felt sad. Chimp? Sad. Yeah. I didn't feel sad. I don't like. No, I well, think, and I don't necessarily agree with the direction it's going. But I think if you can get chimps to engage in social media like this. They were gonna, there's going to end up being a lot of studies on, like, okay, let's take 100 chimps and get them to just play with phones and take 100 chimps to get them to play normally and then yeah. measure their sort of, if they get depressed or... They do that anyway, and chimps are a really good animal to do those kind of tests on because, as I said, they have their, like, systems of how they feel is very similar to us. Mm -hmm. So I think that it might go in that direction and not necessarily that's a good or bad thing. And that's why I feel sad because I'm just like, leave the chimps alone. Well, like... I don't know. I feel. But like then that, that being said, like, so if the chimp, right? This is this is a question for you. If the chimp, you feel bad because you gave a chimp a phone, and he's obviously he's engaged. He's like, I want to play on he's this phone. He's loving it. Now. That's the decision he's. Yeah. Yeah. But you're saying it's bad that we gave the chimp the phone in the first place. Hmm. That's like saying because why they that, create that, the when, iPhone? Is in that it? the same for your your kids? Like yeah. maybe you shouldn't give your kids a phone. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. Oh 100%. So is this just a thought, or will you actually act on this thought? Just a thought. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Act on it how? Like, will you will you actually not give your kids phone? No, no, no. Like, actually... They will have a phone, but I won't feel great about it. I'll feel like, <laughs> uh, I really don't want you Look to have my this little phone. Chinks. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. It's not something that I'm like, do you want a phone? Do you want a phone? I'm kind of holding off. No, you don't need a phone. No, no, the, no. The only thing that, kind of, like when Maxi said uh, instinctively, this I was thinking about this, I don't know, during the week. Um, you, you said that uh, chimps and us, we have this instinctive like similarities, right? Is there a way to somehow make it a habit so that our instincts, we change our instincts or our intuition? Like we train ourselves so that our intuitions think differently. Is that yeah. possible? So yeah. like, cause no like, way. cause I mean, it's down to a certain degree, I guess. I say, are you talking on a like societal level or like individual? Individual, level? individually. Is there a way that we like, so w when we get tired, we fall back into bad habits, right? Like when we're not thinking yeah. and we're just like, oh, I'm so tired. We, we, we binge eat, we, we watch Netflix. We, we're just like brain dead, right? So we just go, we fall back yeah. into these bad habits. Is there a way that those bad habits that we can train so that we don't have bad habits? Like we're in, yeah. our instinct. There's a book called about it. It's called The Power of Habit. You should read it. Yeah. You, you, no, you I can change your habit system. I understand that, but that like, your habit system is still that you're still uh, conscious about doing that. You're, you've got some so, sort of self-control. But how do you make it so instinctively your habits change? One minute warning. Mm, don't okay, know. Can, I, can I summarize what yep. that thing in this one minute one? Okay, so Go. the habit is three things, right? You get a trigger, you yep. get a routine, and yep. then you get a reward. So yep. your body, when it sees a trigger, so that's for you when you get home and you're tired, it has a trigger of I am now home home and i'm tired so then it says now i want the reward which is a bit of dopamine in my brain a bit of sugar in my blood or something like that yeah. and then you go through this routine and that's the relief and it's exactly the same way any oh. other habits words which start with you when you're a kid like this is cold i don't like the coldness that's the trigger jump out of the cold water and then the reward is now i'm warm again that's how oh. habits work the thing yeah. is you can't tell your body to eliminate a habit that's that's nearly impossible just to ignore habits is like the 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 pathways in your brain will always be there. So what you have to do is you keep the trigger, you keep the reward, but you change the routine. So for example, when you get home from work, you're feeling tired and groggy and you're like, I want to feel good about myself, whether that's sugar in your blood or dopamine in your brain. If it's a dopamine one, what you can do is do 50 press-ups instead. You do 50 press-ups and then that habit feels fulfilled because the 50 press-ups causes you to have that dopamine. Go, Ems. Okay, so the article this week is um, the JD Sports Prank, Maxi. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you guys, uh, have you guys yeah. familiar with the prank itself? No. I've watched no. it. No. I watched it. Okay. It is brilliant. Like, yeah. This is, I'm not, there's, there's a lot of plans, pranks I like and don't like, but this is one I really, really like. So basically there's a guy, is in some shopping center and there's a big JD Sports, very busy, right? And he sat down trying on his, these new trainers and he's like tying them up and like getting them nice and tight. And the, the uh, store assistant's just like watching him like nodding his head like, yeah, they look good. They look good. And then the guy like, do you know when you sort of walk around to test out your shoes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then he starts doing like tuck jumps, like jumping and bringing his knees to his chest. And then he just bombs it like sprints <laughs> out of the shop at like crazy speeds. <laughs> and then the, the store assistant's like... What's going on? And then he starts chasing <laughs> after him, but then the person then turns around in the middle of the shopping center and comes running back into JD Sports. And he's like, oh, I'm just, he didn't say anything, but he's just like, look, I was just testing them out. No, and no, then he, yeah, but he oh, runs back in them. and like sits right back down where he was as though yeah. nothing had happened. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, I'll take him. <laughs> no, he's like, I'm pounding his heart like, oh my God, you scared me so much. Yeah. This is like in Malaysia. It was like a Malaysian store assistant, but he was like a white uh, person doing the prank. And right. he, that's what he is. He's a prankster, that guy. It was so funny. But this is the, like, I watched this prank and I thought it was funny. But the reason it became a news article is because um, the person on Twitter, like he posted everything. And then the CEO of Singapore, uh, Malaysia and Indonesia of JD, like so the one that runs that area. Yeah. He then like responded to the video and the prankster said, look, your assistant was so good. Like he. He didn't get mad. He stayed happy and everything else. Um, so I think he should get a pay rise. And by the end of it, he actually got a pay rise. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, he got a pay wow. rise. Yeah. I know. Because he was like, <laughs> keep, keep up the good work staff, you know? Because that, cause that could yeah. easily go wrong, right? But he wasn't trying to confront him. He just like ran after him, like just instinct, like 
just ran after him, but then, yeah. then the guy just suddenly turns around and runs back in. Are you? Are you <laughs> uh, just a question. If you were that assistant, that sales assistant, would you chase after that mm. guy? I feel like you would start running after them a little bit like, hey, hey, what are you doing type thing? But then you'd probably like just stop. You wouldn't keep <laughs> you keep running. Like what goes through your head? Like, okay, when I get this guy, like what are you going to do? Now, if they got, I don't know. I wouldn't. What ch- are you legally allowed to do? <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm getting at. Like if you get him and you beat him down and then like, because you got to get the shoes <laughs> off him. Yeah. Oh, and they were tied well, on yeah, his shoes. He's wearing his shoes. <laughs> he's trying to untie them. He tied them pretty tight. He was planning uh, on sprinting. Uh, yeah, I'm, but not, I'm not chasing them, I don't think. I, I'd uh, run after him. One, because oh, God, it's a challenge, isn't it? Like, I, I, I'll catch up <laughs> just with him. For the I've got ch- this. <laughs> and then I have a feeling, if you're, especially if you're in like a... Like I'm, in my head, I've got the Foot Locker uniform, you know, like the referee stripes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Everyone yeah, yeah. knows that I'm a... I'm an yeah, employee. What you're doing? I'm chasing after this guy. I reckon I don't have to rely on me stopping him. Someone else is going to tackle. They're going to put me. the arm out. I'm close just, line. I'm just like, all right. Let me see if I can catch him first, because I feel like I can catch anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine there's a video of, of Alexander, and he's <laughs> doing like the full, <laughs> like knees high, full sprint motion, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> back, back straight up. Just like, but like, just knocking old ladies out the way. <laughs> Look the way <laughs> this is an urgent situation. <laughs> <laughs> you stole our trainer. <laughs> so it was in my head, funny, I'm like though. vaulting people, like I'm hurdling them, just like. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> they just I feel would... the wind as you go past, right? They don't actually get hit. Uh, I'm, I'm basically Usain Bolt in a referee show. Yeah, that's that's, yeah. In, that's why I am. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear me. But, so Deb, you saying if if anyone um. Like if someone came into your work and just took something from work, something yeah. from work, do you feel you would try and if they ran away, would you run or you? No, nah. it's not mine. Sorry, <laughs> I did all I could. He ran. Yeah. Do you know what I think it is? <laughs> if someone, if you're just working and then someone came in and stole something, you'd be like, eh. But because that guy was the one that was like, it was like he was serving that guy, so he feels like this sort of ownership maybe like hang on you just you're stealing from me now because you just oh, he's made taking a fool it personal. of me he's like taking yeah it personal. like i was helping you what do you think you're doing yeah you've got to check his ego <laughs> 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 but, but he, he seemed the, the assistant seemed like if you watch the video he's like the he doesn't he's not like a he's ego really nice or expert shy, or character maybe. he's like uh he almost seems shy like the way he's nodding he's like yeah yeah that looks good yeah, uh like and then the guy runs out and he sort of does a double take. He looks, then looks back, then looks again. He's like, I've got to run. And then, and then he starts running, <laughs> everyone like, else was just watching of... like, oh, what's going on? I, I yeah, know. everyone else was like, oh, man. And then the, the CEO actually said in the in the tweet that um, he said, I need to have a look at my security staff. Like, what were they doing? Yeah. 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 At the shop and then ah, there's right. no sign of anyone else. But to be fair, it happened in such a short amount of time. Like, you have to be looking in the right direction. And because he literally yeah. sprinted out, like... I mean, Without he did, a, he did a 30 meter sprint. It was 30 meters and he just sprinted as fast as he could. And yeah. he stopped really quickly as well. He didn't like come to a casual stop. He just stopped, jumped Turn up in the air around. and then sprinted back yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to watch it. Um, they have a similar prank. I think they had a similar prank, um, but with jewelry in China. So like the, they'd come in very well dressed. They'd get to the, go to the counter and they, they'd put on the necklace and then she'd run like full sprint, just exactly like you described oh, the, the trainers. She'd sprint to a mirror, right? <laughs> and the people, the people in the the salespeople would jump over the counter. Oh, there was like man. they just one just leaped right across the counter. It's just like and starts chasing. And as soon as they go to the mirror, they sort of like, oh, I was just checking my hair. Ah. I, was like, oh, <laughs> I knew you were going to go to the mirror. Yeah. Oh my god, I want to see that. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Uh, okay. But like Man, you, you, have, you must like, have balls to do pranks like that. Yeah, it would, you gotta like, have it's balls. Gotta, like your yeah, heart rate yeah. would be up, hey. Yeah. That's what? what I was thinking. I'm about to say the same thing. I feel like I want to try it now though. Just oh, do so. it, Maxi. Please get <laughs> Melody to film you. <laughs> do they Maxie, show if you? If you Melody come, would never film me. If you come here <laughs> for the fifth of May that weekend, we'll do it. Okay. Me there you go. We? We're gonna do it as well. No, like yeah, we could do it a couple times. You do it once. I'll do it once. 
Oh my god! Because that, that way it will get done. <laughs> do they show? No do they show the when pranks go wrong though? I was gonna say, and then next thing you guys are gonna be in lockup. Acon style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to pick the area wisely. Yeah. Yeah. You need you need someone with a clear area when you get out, so no one's gonna clothesline you, and you've got <laughs> enough space to turn around and come back. Hey, what well, can't we do? The, the jewelry ones better because they don't leave the store, right? They just yeah. Yeah, they just run to the, to the yeah to the mirror. Oh my because god! My, yeah, the heart, when your when heart it's like, rate. I've done nothing illegal at all. I've just scared you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! Or you could do the opposite. One of you like sprints, and then the other one just starts doing like slow mo. <laughs> what? what? Slow mo walking, <laughs> like full on slow mo <laughs> and slow mo talking. I don't know. I thought that'd be quite. Cool. You know, I'd just... like to see how far you could go in slow mo. <laughs> Oh that's what God. I was going to say. Like, oh, so slow mo walking when, out. Put the shoes on. <laughs> don't. I wouldn't even slow mo. Just like put the shoes on. Take like a step towards the door and sort of look at the shoes. Take another step and just keep <laughs> doing it and see when they stop you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I reckon the slow mo thing's good just towards the door. But like, so, like take ten seconds to do a step. <laughs> just keep heading towards the door. <laughs> oh this reminds gosh. me. Have any of you ever seen? Well, I guess this is more Maxi. Uh, maybe Emma. I don't know if it was around when you were here. Balls of Steel. Yes. 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 Oh, you said yes. Balls of Steel. Hang I on, but it. I forgot what it is. <laughs> the rodeo one. The guy. The guy. Where they jump on the of... back. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Hang on. What is it? Uh, I know what it is, but I forgot what it is. So they. It's the same. Like they. They get challenged to do the pranks, but they're like the proper ballsy pranks um and it's just to win the the trophy at the end but like the one i was thinking about that's kind of similar to this was when they would go into i think it was like fast food restaurants yes and yes they would do the bowling <laughs> yes and they would i can't what? i can't remember what they would say but they'd be like like yeah so they'd go like everyone down like they'd walk into the fast food everyone down and then like people would drop to the ground and depending on how many people like say like half the people they go spare all right, that's one no minute warning. Way. Final thoughts. Oh my god! Oh, good timing. That is crazy. Oh. I've never seen that. Okay, so my final thought is Emma. Between now and next week, you have to watch a Balls of Steel. I thought you were going to challenge me to do it. I'm like, hell no. <laughs> my kids would be like, what are you doing? My kids would be on the floor. I said, get down so I can get a strike. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's brilliant. So I'm gonna to come to London then, and we'll uh, we'll try and do our own prank acts. Yeah, I'm on it. Do it. I'm about do it. it. Do it. Do it. it. I actually want to see that. Our viewers want to see <laughs> yeah? that. Alice doesn't want uh, to hear okay. it. Well, I wonder uh, how that if, prank would go. If, uh, if we could get a hundred likes, I'd do it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so he set the challenge. Hundred likes. <laughs> no, I don't like to it. I don't like sign. I need a hundred and one. Oh. That's not that's not 101 separate ones. That's just one more on top of Maxi. Oh. <laughs> so 100 for Maxi, one for me. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> one for you. You want the first one or the last one? The last, the last one. Oh. <laughs> it the 65th one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice one. That that's was good. good. Are you introduced to me, Emma? Oh, so, this next article, I reckon, let's go with yours, Maxie. Okay, so, basically, I was listening to a um, podcast about hypnotherapy and whether there were two people that host a show that essentially were very sceptical and didn't really believe it existed. And after I listened to it, I, I was also sceptical, but now I kind of believe that it, it, it can be done um, to people and they claim it about 15% of the population can sort of be put under a hypno hypnotic sort of spell you can call it um, and then the, it varies, varies how much you can actually like do with them but the article I found and I want to try and stick to the hypnotherapy bit because it is quite a dark article is that um, a hypnotherapist was jailed for 10 years after sexually assaulting women under his spell what the hell that's so, horrible okay that's horrible. I kind of have a perspective on this. And I, I don't know, Emma, if you do as well, from, not from the sexual assault side, but from the hip, hip, uh, hypnosis side. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been in part of a stage show where I was on stage as one of the people that was hypnotized, quote unquote. When? Um, 
this was when I was at uni. We had a guy come in and like at this point, like from, from okay, my experience of hypnosis, I I believe in it, but I don't think it's what people think it is. Like, so when I was on stage and the guy was saying, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, and I would do it, it wasn't because I was, like, spellbound, like, oh, I'm a robot. Like, it's just you, if you're open to it, you're very, suge- like, suggestible? Like, I don't yeah, know all the words, but, like, yeah, you, yeah, you just don't have a reason to not do it, I guess. Like, you just believe so much in what they're saying that you're like, yeah, okay, and you just sort of, you don't think, <laughs> you just do. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And because you're, I, I, I believe there's a lot of trust element involved. Like, I be, mentally, I think you have to be in the very much the right state of mind going into it for it to work. Yeah. Um, but if you are, I think what a lot of people think is like you're not conscious or you're conscious, but you're not in control or something like that. You, yeah. you are in control, but you just, you have no reason to not do these things. Like your normal, your inhibition's gone, in essence. But do you think this, um, this, so do you believe that these women can be this can happen to them like there's a way well, that can happen through hypnotherapy yeah I, I would believe to the point that if they're suggested like when it comes i guess when it comes to interactions from men women that side of things like some people talk a good game this is without hypnotherapy some people talk a good game and can suggest a person to a certain point anyway and that's why like if you look at a lot of sexual assault cases like that's why they say like, oh, I got back to their room and we were on the bed, but then I said no. And people are like, oh, you got like that far. Of course you want it. It's like, no, you can just be, you can just sort of follow along the path of things that are happening to that point. So this is, this so, is some of the things he said. He said, um, the more I talk, we have a connection. You are starting to think you really fancy me. If you ever have a boyfriend in the future, it will never be as good as me. Like he was what? trying to ingrain this in this lady's oh uh, brain. That's and then crazy. um there's another one about like he's trying to get them to uh so we convinced his victim she would feel orgasmic every time he said the word kapow. <laughs> Why did you say kapow? Why kapow as well? It's powerful. Kapow. kapow. But, um, but it just shows like because obviously there's there's different things. Like if hypnotherapy, like and you like you said, Alex, if you just go along with what they're saying to you, then I mean, I can't just feel orgasmic by wanting to feel orgasmic. Like, that suggests that he's going deeper than just, like, the consciousness. Like, do you know what I mean? He's going deeper than just... Can, can I, yeah, but can what, I find out... Yeah, um, but Because you said 15%, oh, right? 15% of yeah. the population. So can I see the characteristics of those 15%? <laughs> I don't know. Is but it... I don't know. I don't know. There, might, there could be studies that show the characteristics of those, but... There were researchers so like, at Harvard studied the brains of 57 people. I'm just having a look here during um, hypnosis, and there's visible altered brain activity. So, basically, the areas that are most affected during hypnosis are those that play a role in action control and awareness. So, it says two areas of the brain that are responsible for processing and controlling what's going on in your body show greater activity during hypnosis. And likewise, the area of your brain that's responsible for your actions and the area that is aware of those actions appear to be disconnected. So, you can process and do stuff, but you're not aware that you're doing it. Supposedly, that's what this the Harvard study showed. Because I think any like industry like this, there's always a lot of taboo as well of people who pretend they can do it. Yeah. And then also people that give explanations when they don't actually understand. Even if they, because I, I would believe there might be some people that can actually, like they use the right techniques and they get some results from people. Whether it's like a really deep hypnosis state they can get people in or just, as Alex said, you can just get to that suggestibility stage where if the person's open-minded enough and doesn't have anything to lose, they kind of just go with it. Without like, it is slightly uh, hypnosis because you go with it thinking, why am I doing this? But you're like, but then why not? Like you just kind of do it. But then, then, then people might just give this like bullshit explanation about why it's, how they're doing it. And then you look at the science and you're like, nope, that is <laughs> awful. But then like you say, I mean, if you actually then go to some proper scientists, they say, oh, actually the there techniques is, he's yeah. using, they're not what he said, but there is actually some science behind it. Like when you say what happens in the brain, mm-hmm. um, which yeah. is uh, quite... Well- I've had hypnosis twice um, and so it is weird because you are sort of what I was skeptical 
But I was like, mm, kind of like what you said, Max. Mm, I don't really have anything to lose. I've, my hypnosis was for my phobias, which you guys all know I have. Anyway, so whilst I'm under hypnosis, same sort of thing, Alexander, where I, I was kind of aware what was happening. Um, and that's why I was thinking, is this working or not? Because I, am I supposed to be aware still what's going on? Um, but mm. in saying that, after the hypnosis, it actually had a positive outcome. But not, but then it wasn't sustained. So maybe for a few yep. months, I was kind of better with my reactions to like um, the insects and bugs that I was phobic did, of. Did but the then, hypnotist suggest it was going to last forever, or was he like, you need uh, to go and do I this? don't remember. I don't, I really don't remember. And then the second time I got it was from somebody else. Um, and then I think, again, it lasted like a little while, but not that long, maybe again, like a few months, a couple months or a few months, and then it kind of just wore off. So I don't know if it's something that you have to have ongoing or I don't know, I'm not exactly mm. sure how it works. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if it works or if you're just more, as you say, suggestible and then therefore believe it. But then the actual outcomes did seem to work a little bit. So I don't know. But then that's that's working though, isn't it? Essentially, I guess. What so. scares me though is this is what scares me. Firstly, they get horror stories like this. So you're basically going to someone and saying, if they can put you in this state, they've, they've got a lot. They've got a lot of power. So you really have to trust them. Mm -hmm. So that's always scary. But the second one is because these people don't really understand. Like we don't understand the science of this properly yet. Like mm -hmm. you can say we want. Like I don't think anyone really really understands it. So if they are in a position where they can alter the way your brain reacts to things. But they can literally go into your brain. This is what they claim in and say, Rewire I can it. stop you feeling a certain way, right? So then what happens if then without them even knowing, because your brain doesn't have the same language as we speak, a hypno right? A hypnotist. Brain, <laughs> yeah, so your brain doesn't have that language. So when they go in there and say, okay, when this, when you have this feeling and when this is produced, I want you to suppress that feeling and not react oh. in that way. What happens if then the feeling they accidentally suppress is when you cross a road and a car's coming at you. Normally you jump oh. out of the way, but somehow they've, suppress that oh, they jerk reaction accidentally switched off another intuition or something something you know what I mean? cuz they don't i don't think they can the brain's such a complex place i don't think they can be as accurate as they're saying this, especially yeah. when the science isn't even yeah. agreed upon you know i'm going to say something that's a bit left field on this but along those lines it, this is where to me i don't think this is localized to the brain i think this is local i think this is the whole body in general and this is where i say things like medication like and even diet things we we do things because we know that it impacts certain things, but I don't think we ever know what else we're impacting on top of that. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, for sure. Medication is a big one, and that's why medication is often like looked upon by a doctor so much. But this field for me is just so like I think it needs a lot more research, and it needs. That being said, I don't know enough about the industry. <laughs> so would you ever be one hip minute hypnotized? warning? Would you ever say, "Oh, mm -hmm. I think I'll try hypnotism for something," or no? Which is the thing I want to try. I really want to just put my body through load of experiences. So I would actually would be open minded to it. Um, yeah. But but that being like I'm not going to not do things because of the fear of things. But I wouldn't ever tell someone to go and like have this as a treatment. Like I wouldn't ever say okay NHS the like National Health Service in England let's make this part because you just don't know like it's. Hmm. it's I, uh, I think I would do it again. But I'd know. like try and research that person like very well and i try and go to like the top person or something or one of the top people but do you, know, you saying... do you know who i'd like to work with yeah and i know he doesn't claim to be a hypnotist or anything like that but darren brown yeah same because i think if anyone understands it to any level he understands it to a very deep level compared yeah. to most like just general the human psychology mm -hmm. maybe i would love to speak to him yeah but you'd feel uncomfortable wouldn't you yes a hundred percent because you'd be like he's seeing what I, he knows me like he can read my mind <laughs> that would be crazy imagine being his wife he's always looking at you isn't he yeah he's always like it's he like might, you're, he's looking into your soul but he could be thinking nothing but just just because his presence and his observation and he's mm. like when you talk it's uh, like so if you say something and you, it's like it's neither it's neither good or bad but he, if he just goes uh-huh you're just like, oh. You would that, second guess was that everything. The right thing to say, or was that the wrong what would, thing? To what say? would happen if you put two Darren Browns in a room? Oh. That explodes. Oh.
All right, thanks for listening, everyone. If you want to find out more, you can find us at The B-Side Word on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, anywhere that you listen to podcasts. Obviously, if you want to watch, go on YouTube. It's been a great one. Catch you on the next one.